Where is that uh, cyber okay. truck? Is that around here? That's somewhere around here. Bring on the cyber truck. Cue music. You know, I saw it on TV, I saw it at the intro, but nothing strikes you until you see it in person. Back in November of 2019, Elon made headlines once again when he revealed this science fiction inspired machine. Pickup truck buyers tend to be pretty conservative in what they like. It needs to look like a pickup truck, you know, all that kind of thing. And this doesn't look anything like a pickup truck, yeah. but it immediately makes pickup trucks look old fashioned. Well, I think there's a preconceived notion of what a pickup truck should be. And I think that's something that we said, if we're gonna go bold, we need to do something that breaks that norm. Yeah, so back here we have the vault. Okay. Touch of a button. Just opens right up like yeah, magic. Yeah, that's very cool. And a good so sized you, bed, yeah. yeah. If you want to mount like a missile launcher or something, you can do that. <laughs> yeah. And close them. And how strong is that? This, the, you can walk on it's this very thing. Weird. You can walk on it? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very strong. It's like, so if you've got uh, some valuable cargo in the back, uh, this, this will protect your cargo and secure it against uh, being, being stolen. So it's uh, pretty stout. People of Tesla! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it for a drive. I mean, it feels very much like any other Tesla. You've got instant acceleration. The greenhouse is fabulous. I yeah. love how open it appears to be. And how close is this to what it will look like in production? At Tesla, we always want to have the production car be better than the show car. It, like, it always drove me crazy when like, manufacturers would come out with this cool looking show car and then the actual production car would be way worse. Right, uh, right. And you're like, man, you got us all excited about this sweet looking car and then the production one is not, it's terrible. We won't do show cars that aren't real. So I think we got the proportions here pretty close. What would you change on when it were finally reaching production? What do you think you would do? We're 5% too big. And if we just take all the proportions and drop them by about 5%. Oh, that, oh you mean all the way around? Yeah, so it's got to fit in a normal garage. Right. Yeah. And there's like, there's lots of little details that uh, you people wouldn't necessarily pick up consciously, just improving visibility. H having the glass like this is, right. is actually quite hard because it's so sloped. Is that a special kind of glass? Is that different oh, yeah. from well, normal windshield glass? Um, we are going to be using um, effectively uh, a form of arm armored glass right. for the car. And the door panels of the car are the 300 series stainless steel, and it's so tough that it's bulletproof to a handgun. And, and why is that important to you that it be bulletproof? I mean, I don't... It's badass and well, yeah, super okay. cool. That's super cool. <laughs> but see, I like I mean, that answer. It's I mean, a good answer. Do you want your truck to be bulletproof or not? Well, yeah, I guess sure. I do. Yeah. I guess I want my truck to be bulletproof, yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, you never know. When the apocalypse comes, you should be glad it's bulletproof. We want to be a leader in apocalypse technology. Exactly. <laughs> There's your SpaceX headquarters right there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Boring Company tunnel starts just there next to the SpaceX parking garage. Oh, is that right? How, 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 how long is that tunnel? Uh, that's about a mile and a half. Wow. I wonder if we might be able to take the Cybertruck through it. That would be kind of nuts. Do you want to do that? Can we take the Cybertruck through it? Well, maybe. I'm trying out Tesla's new space age pickup called the Cybertruck. Let's see, it'd be quite interesting to see if we can actually put it down there. Now Elon has dared me to take it through the Boring Company's test tunnel right under Los Angeles. All right, so this is the first time Cybertruck has ever been ever inside been a Boring Company the, tunnel. We don't even know if it'll fit. We in. don't know. We're pushing the envelope. Let's see, how are we? I think you're, you're looking good on this side. OK, here we go. Going into the tunnel. Actually, it's going pretty good. There we go. Yeah. Wow, cool tunnel. What is that on the side? This is a uh, steel reinforced concrete. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. You can go faster. They were uh, in a tunnel under LA. Wow, it's very cool, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to break down in here. Well, this is a test tunnel, so there'd be uh, yeah. parallel tunnels for you know any, any kind of like production situation. So right, there'd, be, there'd right. be many tunnels, and then you'd have doors in between the tunnels. And right. you'd also have like alcoves and that kind of thing where people could exit or do whatever's needed. Wow, look how far that is. Just my luck is when the earthquake happened. Oh, actually tunnels are uh, safer than the ground in an earthquake. 
Tunnels are safer than the ground? So you think of like earthquakes are like waves on the surface. Right. Um, oh, I and, see. And if you, let's say there's a, if you're, there's a hurricane, you'd rather be in a submarine than a ship. Well, that's true. Now, normally this would be on autopilot, right. so you wouldn't need to drive at all. So the idea being you drive your Tesla down here, put it on autopilot, and it would take you through the tunnel. Yeah. So this is the elevator. Oh, the elevator takes us up? Yeah. Oh, very cool. They get right to here. And just stop where? Right about here? Wow, we just barely fit. Here we go. Well, now we're taking the elevator. Hopefully, we up. don't catch on anything. Wow. It's hilarious. Yeah. How crazy is this? And just go forward? Yeah. Elon, thank you very much. This is a kind of a bucket list thing to get a glimpse of the future. And, and you're doing it, my friend, with the boring machine and going through the tunnel and this car. It's very cool. I hope Thank the you. next 12 years is as good as the last 12 have been. Well, thanks. It's been a, certainly a very eventful journey. Hey, CNBC fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.